Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this MB Sturgis Propane Pigtail with Back Check. This propane pigtail connects your propane cylinder to a regulator and it can be used for single or dual tank setups on the front of your travel trailer and can also be used to connect a remote tank to a high pressure regulator. So this is going to be ideal for travel trailers with a split tank system. That kind of system features one cylinder on the driver's side and one cylinder on the passenger side of your trailer. And this hose connects the cylinder on the passenger side to a high pressure regulator. An additional hose, which is sold separately, will then carry the propane from the high pressure regulator to the two-stage regulator on the driver's side of your trailer. This female type one fitting is going to connect to the valve on your propane cylinder and it will go into bypass mode if the flow rate surpasses the maximum flow capacity for this connector which is 450,000 BTU per hour. A ball inside of the fitting will push an internal spring down pressing firmly against the bottom of the fitting to shut off the flow of gas. The male NPT connects to a propane regulator and the thermal shutoff device turns off the gas flow in extreme heat caused by open flame and an excess flow safety device is going to limit gas flow in the event of a severe leak. Now this is made in the USA with the hose being constructed of durable thermoplastic with brass fittings and it is approved for LP gas only. It is rated for high pressure and high flow rate to handle unregulated propane. It is UL569 and ANSI Z21-81 certified and the temperature range is negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit and the hose dimensions overall this is about 15 inches long and the inner diameter is a quarter of an inch. The maximum pressure rating is 350 psi and again the maximum flow capacity is 450,000 BTU per hour. So when choosing a type 1 connector consider your overall propane demands and choose a connector with a flow rate that just exceeds it. That way you won't trigger the bypass mode during normal use, but it will trigger in the event of a leak. If the bypass valve engages, stop using gas and start checking your connections for leaks. Well, that's gonna conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.